Good morning, everyone. It's good to see you with us uh, this morning for our morning worship. And we're delighted that you're here. And to those, who, uh, to those who are joining us online as well, we're really, really pleased that you, you join with us week in and week out for our worship together. I hope you all had a nice Easter week. And for the boys and girls who were off school, I hope you enjoyed your time off. Does this mean back to school tomorrow? Yeah, for some, but not for others. Uh, so anyway, you sound so excited there with that. Yeah. Anyway, the announcements have been circulating on the screen. I hope you had an opportunity uh, to look through them. Just want to draw your attention to two or three of them. Do you remember tonight, six o'clock, we have our evening worship uh, here in the parish church. Uh, come along this evening. And then Wednesday evening at half past seven, we have our prayer meeting. And that's taking place in the youth annex of the parish hall. Uh, and it'd be great to see you coming along to that. Do you remember, I've said it before, the prayer meeting should be a priority for us as a church. It's the backbone of the church. And, uh, and it would be good uh, if you're able to join us for that. For anyone that can't come in person for various reasons, but does want to be part of the prayer meeting, if you'd like to Zoom in uh, with us, then say to me, leave in church, or send me an email uh, saying, Mark, please send me the link, and we can offer Zoom uh, for that as well. Uh, do remember that the uh, men's crack in ministry, their big breakfast is taking place on the 20th of April, and Saturday the 20th, and for any of the gents in church, if you haven't signed up for that yet, please do so. There's a sheet on the table uh, here, my left, to your right, just beside the organ. Uh, stick your name down on that, or say to Gareth or myself as you're leaving church, and we'll make sure that you're, you're registered for that breakfast. We need numbers, uh, of course, for, for catering purposes uh, for that. Uh, more details about it is in the parish magazine, as are details for the daughters of the king. And uh, do remember, ladies, this is for you, that your next meeting is on the 10th of May in Holy Trinity Hall uh, from 7 to 9 p.m., and that's pottery making. Um, so if you'd like to be involved in that, uh, then please see uh, either Kathy or Joy uh, for more information regarding that and to book your place uh, for it as well. There is still places? There is still places available. So um, you'd be welcome, ladies, to, to join in in that. Thank you to those who have returned their Smarty Tubes from our Lenten appeal. Uh, they're much appreciated. And if you haven't yet returned yours, there's still time to do so. Um, remember that this year we're supporting the persecuted church in Yemen uh, through open doors. So do, uh, do bear that in mind. Uh, as well. And keep, keep Yemen, keep the persecuted church in your prayers as that ongoing project uh, throughout the year takes place. Next Sunday, our services are as normal. 10 a.m. we're in St. Patrick's, 11.30 we're here in Holy Trinity, and then 6 p.m. next Sunday evening we're back over in St. Patrick's uh, for evening worship. Uh, next Sunday morning service will be slightly different. I'm not going to tell you why it's going to be slightly different. You need to come and see. It's a wee bit like EastEnders. There's a cliffhanger. All I'm saying is it's going to be different. So come along. There'll be a nice surprise next Sunday morning for those of us uh, who gather together for worship here uh, in, in Holy Trinity. Finally, the birthday slot. Any birthdays in May? This is family worship this morning, so... No, this is April. <laughs> no birthdays in May. Any birthdays in April? Okay, we've got one, two, three. <laughs> oh, Alan's doing a very quick hiding there. George at the back, good, excellent. Roberta, ah, it's a whole pile of birthdays. Okay, hands been, fingers been pointed, whole pile of birthdays. Nigel. That was quick. Well done. Well done. We'll sing happy birthday uh, to those who have birthdays in April. We'll do May next month. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, everybody. Happy birthday to you. Well done. Now, as we come to gather to worship God, I invite you to stand, turn around and say good morning to someone that you haven't said good morning to yet. And thank you to Olivia and her daughters for providing the teas and coffees this morning.
And we begin our worship by using our Easter acclamation because we're still in the season of Easter and we are for the next six weeks. And so Christ is risen. risen And let us worship God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And the Lord be with you. This is the day that the Lord has made. And we pray together, Lord, Lord, direct our thoughts and teach us to pray. Lift up our hearts to worship you in spirit and in truth, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We sing together our opening hymn, crown him with many crowns, the Lamb upon his throne. And let us praise God together. Let's just sing that last verse again. Crown him the Lord of years, the potentate of time. All hail, Redeemer, hail. That's why we're here, to worship Jesus, to worship the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Crown him the Lord of years. Thank you, Nigel. Be seated. Just one announcement I forgot to mention. Uh, do remember that on the 27th of April, there's the First Things Conference, which has taken place in Moira Parish Centre, so it's not that far away. 
And uh, if you want more details about that, there's cards in the porch on your way out. You need to book in for that. It's an all-day conference. Um, the speakers at it is Archbishop Justin Batty, who is the primate of South Sudan, and Canon John McGinley, the director of uh, the Myrid Church Planting Program. Really good conference. It'd be really good to see many of our, our parishioners and friends able to come along to that. Do lift a little card. If you have trouble getting booked in or you don't know how to do the electronic stuff, say to me and I'll book you in along with my ticket and get you, and get you booked in uh, for that. Details of that are in the magazine and also in the porch. And so as we come before God this morning, we take time to confess our sins because all of us have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, of the standards set by Him. We confess that we have sinned in thought and word and deed, and we seek His forgiveness, the forgiveness of ourselves, the forgiveness of us as a church, because as a church we have sinned, but also as a community at large, we confess on behalf of this whole village, this whole district, this whole parish, knowing that we have sinned before God and we need His mercy in our lives. And so in the wilderness, we find your grace. You love us with an everlasting love. Lord, have mercy. There is none but you to uphold our cause and our sin cries out and our guilt is great. Christ, have mercy. Heal us, O Lord, and we shall be healed. Restore us and we shall know your joy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy on you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed is the Lord. Therefore shall our hearts dance for joy. We're now going to have our scripture reading. And then the uh, junior choir are going to come and sing to us. The reading today will be John 20, verses 19 to 31. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the disciples were to get together with the doors locked with fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and side. The disciples were overjoyed. When he saw the Lord, Again, Jesus said, Peace be with you, as the Father has sent me, I am sending you. And with that, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive any of one of his sins, they are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. Now, Thomas called Didymaeus, one of the twelve, was not with the disciples when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the nail marks in his hands, and put my finger where the nails were, and put my hand onto his side, I will not believe it. A week later, his disciples were in the house again, and Thomas was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here. See my hands. Reach out your hand and put it in my side. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas said to him, My Lord and my God. Then Jesus told him, Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Jesus did many other miraculous signs in the presence of his disciples which are not recorded in this book, but these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, 
and by believing you may have you may have and by believing you may have life in his name. Here ends the reading. Thank you, boys and girls, and Jill and Victoria for, for training them. Now I invite you to stand as we reaffirm our faith using the words of our creedal statements. Do you believe and trust in God the Father who created all things? Do you believe and trust in God the Son who died to save us from our sins? Do you believe and trust in God the Holy Spirit who gives life to the people of God? This is the faith of the church. This is our faith. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. 
Let us pray. In the collect of today, the second Sunday of Easter. Almighty Father, you have given your only Son to die for our sins and to rise again for our justification. Grant us so to put away the leaven of malice and wickedness, that we may always serve you in pureness of living and truth, through the merits of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now the Woods family are going to lead us in our intercessions. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we join in your house this morning, let us be one as we confess our sins and seek forgiveness in your holy name. At this family service, we pray for the children of our parish that they may grow knowing you as their saviour and have a strong, courageous faith in all they do. Lord, as we speak to you through the power of prayer, we bring our needs and the needs of others before you and hope that you can help those in need or in poor health. We pray for our King Charles III and the Princess of Wales, Catherine, as they both are experiencing poor health and receive treatment. We hold dear those within our own church and community who may be ill or suffering loss at this time. We pray you keep your powerful and healing hands upon us all. Lord, as we continue in the manner of prayer, we bring before you the Diocese of Armagh and Archbishop John McDowell. We are asked to keep those of the parish of Donegadee in our prayers under the ministry of Reverend Gamble. We also bring before you the wider Anglican Church in the West Indies, Open Doors and Max from Chile, who is currently being ordained. So bringing all our prayers closer to home, we pray for those in our own church family, especially those who live on the Ballylock Road, the congregation of our own down in Drumore Diocese, and the course, and of course the ministry of Bishop jo uh, David and his family. Gracious Lord, in closing, we thank you for speaking to us through the words of Reverend Mark and his team, and that they may go into the new week lifting your name on high. Amen. Thank you very much. And now rounding all our prayers and praises into one. We pray using the words that Jesus gave us, our Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever. And let us bless one another with the words of the grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. We're going to sing together our gradual hymn, What Love Could Remember, No Wrongs We Have Done, His Mercy Is More.
Father, we do pray that your mercy would flow amongst us this morning, that your grace would be evident, and that now as we come to think of your word, that you would speak to us, that you would speak through me, that we would be challenged in our walk with you. And Father, three things that we ask that we plead so often that you would open our eyes that we would see Jesus, that you'd open our ears that we would hear only his voice, that you'd open our hearts that we would receive him into our lives. For it's in his name we pray. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. For the next few moments, I want us just to keep in our mind that passage that was read to us, uh, and thank you to the Woods family for doing our readings and our, uh, and, and our prayers this morning, um, the, the story of Doubting Thomas. Uh, now, Doubting Thomas, it's one of those passages in Scripture that, that I, I love because I can see Thomas in every single one of us, but I always think that Thomas kind of gets the raw end of the deal, and that For 2,000 years, he has been nicknamed the Doubter or Doubting Thomas, and none of us like to be called Doubting Thomas. We we struggle with it, uh, and we don't like it when people use it as a reference for us. It's kind of like, oh no, what what have I done? What have I said? Uh, But I want us to keep that story to the back of our mind, and possibly the first creedal statement that we read about in Scripture, certainly in in the Gospels, where Thomas, upon realization of who Jesus was, declared, my Lord and my God. Because that's what a creedal statement is. And we've used creedal statements in church this morning. We say the Apostles' Creed uh, on two of our Sunday mornings. We say the Nicene Creed on a Sunday morning in the month. And on the first Sunday in family worship, we use the statements that we used. It's a declaration of faith. It's declaring who Jesus is, who God the Father is, who the Holy Spirit is, and what they mean to us. And in this statement of my Lord and my God, Thomas is doing that. He's declaring who, who, Jesus, who Jesus is. Now, I need some help. So the boys and girls want to come forward to the front. That would be great. Um, and as they do so, just to say to you as well, to the congregation, over the next number of weeks, starting next Sunday, we're going to look at a new series of sermons. And we're going to, to look every week at, uh, for, for a number of weeks at different things that Jesus said um, when he began the statement by saying, very truly, or truly, truly. Uh, So I want us to to look over the next number of weeks at the truly, truly statements uh, of of Jesus. Now, boys and girls, can we all get seats? Can we all get in somewhere? I don't know. Who's is this nice uh, Honda bag? Is that Jill? Jill, I'm just setting it up here. Let me just check. I'm being nosy. Oh, it's okay. I just don't want to put it beside a radiator if it's meltable. Anyway, it is. Okay. So, boys and girls, who likes playing games? Who doesn't like playing games? More to the point. Depends what the game is. Well, that's true. That's true, Ben. It depends what the game is. Well, one game that we used to play at school on a very wet, windy, or cold day, whenever our teacher, whenever Mrs. Kissick would not let us out to the playground, that was what you called our teacher, was Mrs. Kissick, uh, she used to play with us Chinese whispers. Now, do you ever play Chinese whispers? Do you like Chinese whispers? You do like Chinese whispers. So how does it work? What way do we play Chinese whispers? Now, I know how it works, but you tell me how it works. Ayla. So one person gets a message, and then they have to pass it on to the next person, to then the next person. And how do they pass it on? Uh, how, do they, how do they pass it on, Emily? Do you know? How does the message passed on? They whisper it into their ear. Isn't that right? And so then you have to see that the message that starts at the beginning, well, where else would it start other than the beginning? But that starts at the beginning is the exact same whenever it gets to the very end. Now, I'm going to play with you a game of Chinese whispers. 
but you're going to play against each other, all right? So I'm going to whisper something in Molly's ear because she's at the very end of this row, and I'm going to whisper something in Joel's ear because he's at the end of this one, and you're going to pass it along the row until you get to the very end, and then we'll see who has got it right. What do you think? You think who's going to win? Oh, you're, you're so confident. Okay. You think you're going to win, Harrison? Yeah. Have you ever played this before? Yeah. No. no, you haven't. So that'll be interesting. Right. So I'm going to have to tell you one of my deepest, darkest secrets. Because that's usually what whispering's about, isn't it? We tell a secret. And then I say, don't tell anybody. All right. So we're going to play Chinese whispers. And for that, I need to turn the microphone off so that you don't all hear what I'm going to say. All right. Hold on, for those who are watching online. So what did I say then? Well, you say that I have three. I have like something, something, three, something. You still, yeah. Like okay, so you didn't hear it then. All right. Well, then what was it? No, that's okay. You didn't hear Okay, go, pass it along. See, see, who can, see who can get it. And then when it gets to the end. It wasn't that long. Okay, and if you're not sure what it is, just tell what you think it was. Okay, well, you hold it. Okay, so I'm coming to you now, Isla, in a minute. Okay. All right. Did you get it? Catherine, did you get it? So you have to think what you, what you think it might be. Ayla, what was it? I have three Easter eggs. I what? I have three Easter eggs. Oh, okay. I have three Easter eggs. Right, okay. Catherine, what do you think it was? I have three Easter eggs. Is that because they said it? Yeah. Well, do you know what? You've copied them and they're wrong. No, it wasn't. Do you remember what it was, Joel? That's exactly it. Molly, do you remember what it was? I ate three Easter eggs. That's what it was. It wasn't I have. But you shouldn't have heard what he said. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Do you know what? There's a wee bit of cheating going on over here. Do you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You shouldn't have heard what he said because he was whispering it to Ben who then was whispering it on. So, if you, so, if you, so you shouldn't have known. So he... But, so the moral of the story is you passed on a lie then. <laughs> okay, perfect. That's what I was wanting to happen. Excellent. Okay, we'll try it one more time, but we'll start at the other side this time. Catherine, come you up. All right, Isla, come you up. Okay. Now, come on right up here, because they're, they're cheating. Are you sure you're not cheating? Positive? Okay, pinky promise. Pinky promise. Okay, right. Are you ready? The 
this is going to be really popular. Right, away you go. Only this time, Isla, go that side. All right, Catherine, go you that side. Okay, just to see. Or Charlotte, sorry, Charlotte. It's Catherine, sorry. Charlotte, you go. <sighs> Man, sorry. <laughs> no, 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 you just have to whisper it to one. So you whisper it to Joel, and then Joel has to tell Ben, and then... Now, sit in your seats. Sit in your seats. How are you getting on over here? Do you want to try it again? Go try it again. See if she got it the first time. Go, go. All right. How are you getting on? I can't remember what it was. You can't remember what it was. Okay, come on. I'll tell you. go. Right. Kenny McCoy, I love this one. That was a wee clue. All right. What do you think? What do you think? Are you right round the length of Emily yet? Well, how are we getting on over here? You're done. Have you got it? You've got it. Excellent. Excellent. It doesn't matter whether you understand it, you just need to say it. No, 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 no. You have to go right round. Did you get it? Okay, okay. So, we'll go this side this time till they catch up. What do you think it was? Do you know? Anybody know along this line? Rebecca. Yes, Cold Rain is better than Glen Avon. All right. Who's next? Oh, I've just told you what it was. But did you, did you get it? Cold rain is better than Glen Avon. Is it? No. Oh, debatable. Debatable. Okay. Right. One more. So let me see. One more. All right, Harrison. You can come. And Emily. Okay. All right. Brother and sister against each other. All right. Now let's try one more. All right, are you ready? You ready? Shh, shh. Oh, they are sw oh they're, they've changed in tactics. Now this one is the most important one. Now, this is the most important one of all. It's a really good one, I promise. You know what it is? She's not a good whisperer, is she not? You a good whisperer? Yes. Yes? Okay. Okay, you got it? Okay. Have you got it? Okay, so what is it? Okay, and what is it? Jesus is risen. Yes, that's what it's about. Now, boys and girls, Chinese whispers can work in all sorts of different ways. So the first one that wasn't really important, I ate three Easter eggs. It is true. I did eat three Easter eggs to my shame. They tiny ones. One of them shaped like a bunny. It was really tasty was. It was really good. Okay, it didn't really matter. It doesn't matter how many I ate. The second one, is Cold Rain better than Glen Avon? Well, I don't know. Kenny would disagree with me. Who else disagrees with me? Some people. Who, who, who agrees with me? Ah, oh, brilliant. Good. Okay. <laughs> My work is done. I've converted the children. Uh, okay. Did it really matter? doesn't matter. Jesus is risen. Is that important? Yeah! And why is it important? Why do we think it's important? Because, because he rose from the dead. 
because he rose from the dead, and that's what faith is all about in Jesus, the fact that he rose from the dead. And that's a good whisper to tell. The only thing is we shouldn't be whispering it. We shouldn't whisper it to each other. We should be saying it out loud. We should be telling everybody. And that's what happened on that first Easter morning, that Jesus was risen from the dead. Mary Magdalene went to the tomb. She was told he is not here because he's risen. And Mary Magdalene rushed back to tell all his followers. And where we pick up this morning's reading is, they're all gathered together in the upper room. The doors are locked. They're afraid because they've heard all these whispers. He's not there. He's risen. He's not there. But they're also hearing lots of other stories. The Jews are coming to get you. The leaders are coming to get you. They've stole his body. They've hid his body. He's not really risen. And they're hearing lots of all other stuff. But actually, the most important thing is Jesus is risen. And how did they know Jesus was risen? What happened? Does anybody know? What happened? What did Jesus do? Ben? That's exactly right. He came to the room, and he was able to come into the room, even though the doors were locked, and he stood amongst them. And as Ben says, he showed them his hands. He showed them his side, and he said... Four very, very special words. And these were the words that he said. Peace be with who? You. Peace be with you. Now, whenever we whisper, whenever we use Chinese whispers in everyday life to spread gossip, we don't have the peace of Jesus in us. And we're not spreading the peace of Jesus. But we should be spreading the fact that we know and love Jesus. That he is risen from the dead. That yes, he died. He died for our sins. He died to take away our sins. But more than that, he rose again on the third day for us. So boys and girls, adults, here's a challenge for you. Before today's out... Why not do a Chinese whisper with someone? And instead of spreading something that's just not important, why not spread the faith? Why not spread the gospel message? Last Sunday here in church, every single one of us that was here renewed our baptismal promises. We promised to spread the good news of Jesus Christ. Start to spread that Jesus Christ is risen and is risen from the dead. That's so, so important. God loved each of us so, so much that he sent his son son to die on the cross, that he allowed his son to rise again to new life, and he has brought his son to be with him in his kingdom in heaven, where Jesus wants us to be there too. And we need to tell it. We need to tell everybody that we know about it. So who's back at school tomorrow? Okay, some of you are back at school tomorrow. Oh, Harrison, you're going back, but they're not. Okay, you have another day off. Emily, when are you back at school? Thursday. You're not back this Thursday. Oh, I'm going to have to have a word with Mr. McAmely. I'm, I'm, I'm at the same school as Emily. You're at the same school as Emily, but you're going back tomorrow? Yeah. No, you're not going back tomorrow. Okay, okay. Why not, when you go into school on Thursday, say to your best friend at school, I believe in Jesus because Jesus is risen. Don't say how many Easter eggs you got. Don't say how many Easter eggs you've ate. Don't say which sports team is the best or who's the best pop group. Why not tell them that Jesus is risen? Say to your teacher, Jesus is risen. Start to spread the gospel. Spread the good news that Jesus Christ is risen today. Thomas doubted. Thomas said, I don't believe unless I see And Jesus said, look at me, Thomas, I'm here. Look at me. And Thomas said, my Lord and my God, let's start to proclaim Jesus as our Lord and as our God. We're going to pray together. So let's bow our heads. Let's close our eyes. We're going to pray together. Father, we thank you for that love that you have for us. We thank you for the Lord Jesus and how he died for us on that cross. We thank you that he rose again 
triumphing over death and over the grave. Father, we pray that you would help us to spread the good news of the gospel, that you would help us to spread that Jesus is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. For it's in his name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, you can all go back to your seats. We're going to sing together our final hymn this morning. We're going to sing uh, that great Easter hymn, Thine be the glory, risen, conquering Son. Let us praise God together. Thank you, boys and girls. Now into God's grace, God's mercy, and God's protection we commit you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace this day and forevermore. Amen. Go in the peace of the risen Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.